In the year of their return to the top flight of Spanish football, Deportivo Alaves seemed determined to win the title of giant killers of the league. Shot dug out, oh! The equaliser from Alaves! Amazing scenes here at the Vicente Calderon, it's a rocket! Mauricio Pellegrino's team started La Liga with a valuable draw at the Calderon. Six is Luis Suarez. Oh, ball inside the box! Goal number two for Alaves! This time it counts! It's he by Gomez! Then they gave the shock of the season so far by winning at the Camp Nou. Now the next big challenge is to also take points from the third side of the Spanish football elite. Zinedine Zidane's Real Madrid. Los Blancos were less than convincing in their last league match at the Bernabeu against Athletic, but ended up taking the three points and climbing up the table to sit in first place. I think it's something we all want. We know the way to win titles is to always be there at the top. And these matches that are so complicated are the ones that motivate you to work hard, to believe in ourselves and to build up confidence. The reality is that it's impossible to always play a good match. In the end, we've won, which is the important thing. The defence leaving a tremendous gap and Ronaldo in the end hitting it straight at the bottom. In a match in which Ronaldo failed to score for the fourth time in six games, Lucas Vasquez and Alvaro Morata saved the day, coming off the bench and scoring to improve appearances. Moratas and Lucas are convincing me. They're in good form. They go out onto the pitch and do well. After that, we'll see. The composition of the attacking trident, however, will not be the only headache for the French coach, as he also has to cope with the absences of such important figures as Luka Modric and Sergio Ramos, as well as Carvajal, who saw his fifth yellow card of the season in the match against Athletic. Alaves, on the other hand, arrive on the back of a 3-0 defeat at Tanoeta and have taken only one of the last nine points, which leaves them in 10th place in the table. We're going through an important phase. Sometimes it turns out like today that your opponent is superior and you lose the match, and you have to use that experience to learn. Pellegrino will be without Marcos Llorente due to contractual agreement, but welcomes back Theo Hernandez for the long-awaited duel in Vitoria. Real Madrid returned to Mendizorosa for the first time in a decade. In their last duel in September 2005, Los Blancos ran out 3-0 winners with a brace from Ronaldo and Guti finding the net. It's a fantastic match that everybody wants to play and will prepare for it just like any other. At the end of the day, it's three very important points for us. We're playing at home in front of our fans. I think a victory, especially against Madrid, would be incredible for everyone. Recent duels between Real Madrid and Alaves have provided good memories for Los Merengues, like the 5 0 win in La Liga in 2000 2001 that mathematically gave them the title. Or in 2002 2003, with a stunning goal from Zidane and the ever memorable debut of Ronaldo, who scored a brace in his first official match at the Bernabeu. Definitively a match with all the ingredients in which Real Madrid will try to consolidate their lead at the top against an Alaves side but want to confirm their status as giant killers. The star match of week 10 in La Liga Santander.